<laughs> hey everybody, I'm right back at you. I'm gonna do a book review. Uh, it's for Halloween, you know. <laughs> um, I don't know how many I'm, more. I'm, I'm reading The Stand right now. I don't think I'll finish that before. I'm reading the extended one. It's like 1,100 pages. But I'm just trying to finish these books. And I've had this one. Graham Masterton, The Gin. I've had this uh, like 10 years. And this is like, I remember at the time, I was just buying anything. Anything that looked like horror or like a cool cover. I would just snatch it up. And I've had this for years. And I've tried to read it. I think twice before and it just seemed boring and I was like, okay I'm reading it or I'm gonna read it and if it sucks I'm gonna stop it but um Graham Masterton he's a good writer he wrote The Manitow which I haven't read I don't I've seen the movie but uh, I, actually I think I have read one of his newer books or like from, from the 80s or 90s and uh it wasn't any good but this one this one is good, but it's just not really horror. I mean, it is, but it's just not what I was looking for. But uh, Graham Masterton, he's a good writer. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the character, the main character, Harry Erskine, he's from the Manitow, and he's a cool, cool character, and very well written. And it's the books from his point of view, and it has to do like his his godfather dies, so he goes to the funeral, and his godmother tells him that this jar that he had drove him crazy, and that she's gonna burn the house down to get rid of the jar. And Harry's like, you know, don't do that, it's just a jar. And so he tries to help her, just tries to show her, you know, just a jar, there's nothing wrong with it. But it turns out there is something wrong with it. There's a genie in the jar. And there's this girl, Anna, who's, who, like, works for the government of Iran. She's trying to get back, like, artifacts that people have stolen. And the jar was one of them. So it's, it's more just like a, I guess... It's more like a mystery, kind of, of what's behind the jar or what the jar is. And this book's only 210 pages. And uh, halfway through the book, nothing had really happened. And again, it, it's one of those books where, like, they don't believe there's anything supernatural, and, which usually is really frustrating, but it wasn't in this one. Because they eventually come around, like, they meet this uh, professor who knows all about, like, Middle Eastern... Uh, history and, and folklore and he tells them about the jar and it's like about Alibaba and the 40 thieves I don't know anything about that <sighs> I really don't recommend it if you if you want like gore and, and horror and like creepy stuff it's, it would be more like an episode of the Twilight Zone or, or um, the Outer Limits or Tales from the Crypts Tales from the Dark Side Monsters maybe um, the, but at the, in the last like 25 pages it really blows up and it goes full on horror like there's gore and there's a these creatures come out of the jar and like the one's like a, there's like a giant rat like creature there's like a leper there's like a half lizard half man creature and they describe like a woman like an evil looking woman with vaginas all over her body and I was like wow that, I didn't expect that so that got, it got really good at the end but um, I wouldn't read it again I don't know maybe you know Graham Masterton and you read the Manitow I haven't I find 365 I might read there are 52 cards the number of I might read the, one of his books again maybe like the Manitow his book called the plague and the Sphinx so maybe if I found those I might I'd give him a shot definitely but I just can't really recommend uh, Graham Masterton like wholeheartedly like like go out and get this book and the prayer book Oh, so it's just kind of torn it's not it's well written but it's just not really horror so just uh, yeah not really horror I guess that doesn't really go for Halloween but the season of Halloween just more like a beware you know just you never know what you're getting into it's kind of
kind of sucks. <laughs> so I uh, just that's the, the that's the gin. 